back today working on the 240 with a much needed upgrade so I have Z32 calipers for the front stainless lines new pads and rotors and a Z32 brake master cylinder to replace that little guy uh, nothing for the rear at the moment uh, it's kind of more difficult to do so we're gonna do this shouldn't well I say it shouldn't be too hard but it'll probably be really hard because Stuff like that always happens. So we're gonna get started on that. So the first step was to loosen the hard lines and we're gonna drain out the master cylinder. Oh, there it is, a little bit. <laughs> There's three bolts to loosen and we have to drain the brake fluid. It's all over my hands. Master cylinder's out. Had some nasty brake fluid in there. So we read everywhere on all the forums that we would have to Dremel out a fitting and that there would be a five-sided plug in this, in the Z32 BMC. Well, that was not the case. And from what I'm seeing, we don't need a fitting. Like, they all look the same there. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt this on and this might actually be easier than we expected. Hopefully. <laughs> Sounds good. We've removed both calipers and we just disconnected the brake line from the hard line. I just have to remove that clip to pull it out. Christian has already gotten that his line out on his side. And we just have to remove the water shield or dust shield, whatever people like to call them. Because it will not clear the new rotors that I have. Just for a size comparison, that is a stock caliper. Next to a new caliper, four piston on new stainless lines versus one large piston <laughs> on this. So definitely a good upgrade. It's awesome that they bolt right on. That's a, it's a really good feature of the 240SX chassis from Nissan and their Z32. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, calipers are on, lines are all tightened. That looks dope. So now we're just gonna fill up the BMC with brake fluid and we gotta bleed the front calipers. Wow, okay, they clear very easily. <laughs> so just sitting at an idle, that is how much I can push the pedal before I just get a ton of resistance and it feels like I'm pushing into a wall pretty much. So this should be interesting. I don't know how I feel about the very little modulation I now have, but it locks up hard. It'll probably fade less too, just because it's more service area on the ro on the rotors and pads. Not too hard of an install. Pretty easy. So we were driving and the on the right side. This is a shim or a spring retainer. I don't know what the official word for this is, but it keeps popping out and kind of bouncing around. So it was making a squeaking noise. So I just pulled it out. I'm not sure how necessary it is. So, but yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with that is. But other than that, the car or the brakes are much better than the stock calipers. They bite instantly, way harder. Uh, they're not fading, at least not yet. So, and not that pricey of an upgrade, so I definitely recommend that. <laughs> I'm you a 
drop the camera there. broken in yet so that's probably the reason why but they should definitely be locking soon I don't know if this is a good way to break your pads in or not but we're doing it it's also like a 30% decline so So we gotta wait now. We really have to take the steering wheel off. I couldn't even get in. Well, you had to back the seat up first. So I just drove up stunt down Tuna through PCH to Old Topanga. So now we're gonna let Seawell have another whack at it. He's gonna test out the new brakes and perfect his manual driving skills. Hopefully. 